With anything you buy, you want to get the most bang for your buck. You don't want the cheapest, crappiest thing there is, but you also don't want to break the bank. This mindset isn't any different when it comes to buying paint. But which paint line do you go with? Fortunately for you, we got four gallons from four of the biggest paint suppliers to see how they stack up against each other so that you can decide which product is best for you. The setup was simple. Present a basic paint scenario and get the recommended paint for under $30. We went to both the local Lowe's and Sherwin-Williams and stacked up their recommended products with the PPG and the Benjamin Moore products that we carry that are in the same $30 price range. The scenario that we presented was that we were painting a small bedroom in Dover White, which is a Sherwin-Williams off-white color, and we wanted an eggshell finish. We showed a photo of the color we were going to go over, which was a very deep purplish blue, and purchased whichever product was recommended within the budget. At Lowe's, we were encouraged to go a step above our budget to a product that ran around $35 a gallon, since it would cover better. When we said we wanted to stick to our budget, they didn't push us any further, but they did warn us that it might take three or four coats to properly cover the old color. The product we ended up with at Lowe's is the Valspar Ultra Interior Paint, which is their lowest end premium product and the first step above their contractor grade products. At Sherwin-Williams, they recommended their Captivate Interior Paint, a product that normally runs around $40 a gallon, but was on sale at the time of filming for under $30. When we asked about a product that would stay at $30 at a normal price, they didn't give us any other options and they still pushed us towards the Captivate. So either it is the cheapest option or they were pushing to sell this particular line. One other interesting thing to note is that even though we asked for an eggshell finish, the Captivate only comes in a satin finish, which they informed us is the same thing. Spoiler alert, it's not. Of the paint lines we carry in our store, we selected one product from PPG, and one from Benjamin Moore. From PPG, we chose their Speed Hide line, which runs around $29 a gallon and is their higher end commercial interior paint. From Benjamin Moore, we opted for the Ultraspec 500, which is their premium contractor paint line, which is the same price as a Speed Hide around $29 a gallon. Like we mentioned previously, we're going to be painting over this dark plum color with Dover White, an off white Sherman Williams color. This will showcase the difference in the paints well because it is very hard to cover a color this dark with a much lighter off-white. On this half of the board, we will be painting with just one coat of each paint. And on this half, we will be doing two coats of each paint. We decided to do only two coats of each because with any decent paint, you shouldn't need more than two coats to cover anything if you're applying it properly. If you end up needing three or more coats, either your paint is not up to par or you are not applying it heavily enough when you're painting. <music> application process, each paint was very different to work with. The PPG Speed Hide was the thinnest but easiest to apply, while the Valspar Ultra was by far the thickest. So thick that it made it rather difficult to roll and ended up dragging a lot, which caused the weird mixture of heavy and light coverage that you see. Both the Benjamin Moore Ultra Spec and the Sherwin-Williams Captivate were somewhere in the middle, being thicker than Speed Hide, but much easier to work with than the Valspar. Of all the paints, we needed to use the most of the Valspar, which took significantly more than the other products. The second was Captivate, which took less than the Valspar, but a little more than the other two. Both Speed Hide and Ultra Spec took roughly the same amount of paint to complete the job. When it comes to the coverage, after the first coat, the Speed Hide had the least coverage. The Ultra Spec and Captivate were very similar, and the Valspar was the most inconsistent. After the second coat, all of the paints look almost identical with only small variances in finish and texture. It's worth mentioning that since these products are considered the budget option, we applied all of the paint using the cheapest roller covers and frames that we carry. Using a higher quality roller cover would have made a noticeable impact on how the paint applied and how the final product looked. Stay tuned for a future video 
where we'll talk about the difference in roller covers and why the cheapest option isn't always the best one. The bottom line is that every product has its pros and cons. If you want it to be done with your job faster, something like the Ultraspec would be a great option since you can recoat in actually just two hours. If you want to have the smoothest application process, something like the Speed Hide might be best. One of the biggest takeaways is that you don't always have to pay a premium price to get a premium product. Seeing how the Ultraspect is almost identical in performance to the Captivate, which usually costs $11 more per gallon, shows that a bigger price tag isn't always a better option. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it informative. If you like our content, please like and subscribe, and comment below if you have any ideas of future videos you'd like us to produce. I legit have no idea. I so wanted to destroy your video when I walked out. Come play. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Tissue, tissue.